viewers spend 35% of their time with streamers, 34% on cable networks, and 22% watching broadcast television last month, the Nielsen Company said Thursday. July is an unusual month. Broadcast TV is essentially on vacation with little live sports or scripted programming, and a primetime schedule clogged with game shows, but it's a clear indication of how rapidly the business is changing. Streaming's audience share in July was up 23% compared to July 2021, Nielsen said. New episodes of Stranger Things alone on Netflix accounted for 18 billion minutes of streaming, while Virgin River and The Umbrella Academy also did well. Netflix is still the top streamer, but it no longer dominates the field the way it once did. In July, Hulu had strong numbers for only murders in the building and the bear, while Amazon Prime hit with the terminal list and the boys. Many viewers became familiar with streaming and added it to their media diets during the pandemic, he said. They haven't looked back. Each week in July had more total minutes of streaming than any other weeks Nielsen has ever counted, with the exception of the week between Christmas and New Year's last year. The return of football games and a new season of fresh scripted shows this fall should boost the broadcast networks, Freer said. Yet it's hard to see them pushing back to a level of dominance approaching anything in the past. The networks have collectively decided not only that streaming is the future, but they can't wait to get there are as fast as they can, Buying Kelly said. They are not doing anything to slow down the charge. Furrier said it will be interesting this fall when large football audiences return to broadcast TV to see whether those networks will spend a great deal of time promoting their own shows. Some business experts believe streaming services are in a pre-shakeout period, with several trying to establish themselves before the industry learns there are only so many outlets consumers are willing to pay for.